Hello everyone, uh, my today new video recording is related to the configuration of wireless router. You can uh, watch my previous video, the first video in the playlist, which is related to the wireless devices operation mode. So uh, the current video is related to the wireless router mode configuration. As you can see in the diagram that uh, we have a direct internet line which is terminated on our WAN port or either you can say the internet port in some of the modems uh, a routers it's mentioned internet port and some of the router they mention that as a WAN port so you have to terminate the internet line directly onto the internet or WAN port and you have this LAN port so when you are doing the first the initial configuration for the first time you need one laptop or desktop PC connect one LAN cable uh, from the PC LAN port to the wireless device LAN port okay and if you are using the router mode and you are using PPoE mode or PPTP or L2TP or any static IP type of configuration, you must have to consult with the, your internet service provider. They will provide you all these details. So in my case, I'm using the DHCP configuration on the WAN port. Okay. It will fetch all the configuration from uh, the ISP network. And in this mode, I will show you the NAND firewall and the DHCP server are enabled by default. UPnP and dynamic DNS are supported. Okay. So uh, if you are doing the first installation in your network at office or home, uh, you have to make one router or the first router as a route as a router mode. Okay. So let's apply the configuration how to access it. I am using one D-Link router, which uh, the default IP address for the D-Link router is uh, 192.168.0.1. So I assign the IP address to my LAN port as 0 0.100. Okay. Let's uh, try to ping the device, uh, which is uh, 192.168.0.1. Okay. And if you don't know these details, you can find it on the back side of the device. Okay, there will be one sticker based on it and you will find all the details, the login details. So as you can see, when you type this 192.168.0.1 IP address in your browser, if you are using Chrome, Firefox or Internet Explorer, you have to type this 192.168.0.1 address. According to the manufacturer, you will find all the details either in the manual or either back side sticker. So I'm going to configure the router mode. So I click on start. Yes. And I will use the continue as a wizard. And you can see I am I'm having the wide connection. As you can see, I have an internet line. So I'm using wide connection. And as you can see, the internet line is directly connected to my WAN port. So I'm going to use as a router mode. OK. It's by default selected and I have one PC and wireless access point they can access my device okay so I will click on next connection type if you are using PPoE settings you need username and password in my case I'm using the DHCP IPv4 for other type of configuration you must have to contact your internet service provider they will provide you the details okay so in my case is dynamic IPv4 I'll just click on next and the network name I will just make it as a router mode 2.4 okay and I will change the password to 123456678 so I choose the router mode okay as a 2.4 to identify the different uh, uh, wireless uh, frequency like wireless network 2.4 gigahertz i just uh, choose uh, i just write the name as router mode 2.4 and I, this is my wi-fi password and now with this device also support 5 gigahertz frequency so i'm just going to make it as router router mode 5g okay and i will also assign the same password okay so this device support both uh, frequencies 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz okay so next i don't have any iptv device i don't have any voip device next and this is the default uh, management password for the router so admin one two three 
as you can see admin one two three admin one two three I will click next as you can see uh, the setting is for the van port is dynamic and SSID for 2.4 gigahertz frequency I just make it as router mode 2.4 I choose the encryption method WPA2 plus now and ABC1234567 it as a password and you can see for 5 gigahertz the password you can make a different password it's up to you the router model is DIR822 and the operation mode of the of this wireless uh, access point as you can say wireless modem is router okay and this is my management local management password it is admin123 so I will just click on apply make sure when you are doing the configuration the internet line is connected to the van port okay so now this device is uh, trying to fetch the configuration as you can see the configuration is applied now it's checking the connection to the internet on the van port The connection to the internet is configured and it's ready to use. I will just click on finish. Okay. As you can see, uh, I can the website has been browsed. Let me connect it over the Wi-Fi. I'm going to use the Wi-Fi 2, my network uh, second adapter or less USB adapter. So we assign the name as router mode 2.4. Let's test this router mode and I will assign the password ABC one two three four five six seven eight this is my Wi-Fi password okay I will click on next as you can see it's connected okay now let's ping uh, www sorry www.google.com I can see I can ping Google now let's uh, have a browsing I will just make it as google.com you can see I can browse let me show you my network settings as you can see it is connected to a uh, router okay and my IP address is 0 0.134 let me show you uh, the login I will log into the router and uh, summary as you can see the operation mode is set to router and uh, the van is dynamic IPv4 this is the LAN as you can see the 0 0.1 is the local management and this is our SSID router 2.4 currently my I'm connected with router mode 2.4 okay now uh, if you go to Wi-Fi and uh, you will see this uh, option client uh, additional no client management yeah this is the one as you can see and this is my as you can see that uh, this c0113677 is my network uh, physical address for the usb adapter and I'm connected to the SSID 2.4 and 0 0.134 is my IP address okay and as you can see that it is showing here 100% signal strength okay so this is the configuration of uh, router mode if you have a direct internet LAN, you have to connect it to van port or internet port and you have to follow the step that I have done in my video and your router will be configured as a router mode to provide you the internet using the wireless uh, modem, wireless router or Wi-Fi router at your home or office. Thank you for watching my videos. Please kindly like and subscribe. If you have any question, please comment and I will get back to you. Thank you very much.